All that's important is not to not to mistake this blissful dance for awareness itself. Because it it comes and goes, the blissful dance. It's not always there. And if we mistake that for the true peace or happiness of awareness, then when it's gone, we're going to feel let down or disappointed. So it's true that sometimes sometimes awareness floods into the foreground of experience and experience is totally lit up, brighter than usual, by, by, the, by the light of awareness. And as you say, everything sparkles, everything dances. That, that's fine. It, enjoy it. But don't think, ah, that's the experience that I've been waiting for all my life, now I must hang on to it, because it's an appearance, it will go. And if you have invested your happiness in that experience, you will feel that your happiness has gone with it. In the traditional Advaita teaching, it's called Anandamaya Kosha, the illusion of the sheath of happiness. So it's fine while it's present, just totally enjoy it. But don't mistake it for the ever present underlying peace or happiness of your true nature. It's a reflection of it, a manifestation of it in the mind, the body and the world. And, and that, that makes the mind, the body and the world shine brightly. And it's very, it's intoxicating and enjoyable. In, enjoy it. But don't get lost in it or try to hold on to it. Thank you. Is, is, that, is that movement ever not there? Um, that's another point of this for me, because at my most still times, um, when my inner space seems vast and if I was to give it a color it would be black, there's still this... Well, you say it would be black, but you would know it, yes? Yeah. In other words, it would, in order to see the black, the black has to be illumined by light or by knowing. So it's not really black, it's white. Because if you didn't, in order to claim it as black, you must see it. It must be lit up by something. How is it that we can see the black outside? It's because it's lit up. It's not completely black, it's not completely nothing. If it was nothing, we couldn't claim, I see it. So even that apparent nothingness is lit up by the light of awareness. But it may be at the best times that it's that light that brings with it joy. And um, in a way my question is, if that's the light of awareness, then it's always there. Yes. Yes. But it's not always there. That joy is not always there bubbling in the foreground of experience. Think of, think of your true nature of awareness as peace in the background peace that is constantly in the background of experience and that from time to time that peace bubbles over into the foreground and is experienced as happiness. In other words, think of happiness and peace as the same thing. In fact, Yvonne Amar said this beautiful thing that happiness is peace in motion and peace is happiness at rest. So, 
get in contact first with the peace. It's more, it's easier to feel that peace is ever present in the background of all experience, even when there seems to be agitation in the mind or body. You can feel awareness like a drone underneath it or behind it. You may not feel the presence of happiness then, but you feel this peaceful background on top of which, or in front of which, the agitation of the mind, the body and the world is taking place. And then from time to time this peace comes out of the background and it's, it's like it floods the foreground of experience. That is the overflowing, that is the bubbling up of joy in the mind, the body and the world. And then that joy quietens down and it just goes into the background again. So don't expect a happy state always to be present, a happy state of mind. The mind is from time to time struck with this happiness and then a happy state of mind is present. But even when that happy state of mind comes to an end, all that's happened is that the happiness has just relaxed and is now present as peace in the background. So obviously, for, for instance, you may be attending, let's say you were attending a very sad occasion, uh, the, the death of a loved one. It's unlikely on such an occasion that joy and happiness is going to be overflowing in the foreground of your experience. But nevertheless, you can still feel this deep peace in the background, underneath all the thoughts and feelings that are taking place. That peace will later on express itself as happiness in the foreground of experience. So when I, when I speak of happiness, I'm not speaking about a, a colorful state of the mind or the body. It could be something that's very quiet in the background, more akin to peace. It could be thought of more as the, the absence of problems, the absence of desire. Just a feeling of being totally okay with things the way they are. It doesn't necessarily come with a broad smile on its face. It does from time to time, but not always. Am I responding to your question or is there something that I'm missing? No, that's great. Yeah, yeah, okay. Thank you. <coughs> 